Welcome to Hollywood Inside 1960s. Today, let's explore the story of the dark secrets behind the glittering facade of once famous Hollywood actors. They once stood at the pinnacle of fame, but fame, wealth, and power led them to make mistakes. Private scandals, thoughtless remarks, or legal issues, what is the most shocking story today? Join us as we uncover surprising tales through the journey of the 20 most evil actors in Hollywood history. Here goes my vote. Number 20. Charlie Chaplin was born Charles Spencer Chaplin on April 16, 1889 in London, England. He rose to fame for his iconic slapstick comedy character, The Tramp, in films like The Kid, The Gold Rush, City Lights and Modern Times. In his personal life, Chaplin faced scandal when it was discovered that he had engaged in multiple affairs and relationships with very young women, some of whom were teenagers at the time. Most famously was his marriage to Lita Gray in 1924 when she was only 16 and he was 35 years old. Their bitter divorce in 1927 was highly publicized due to Gray's accusations of infidelity and misconduct. Many fans were outraged by the large age gap and his predatory behavior towards teenage girls. This scandal permanently damaged his wholesome public image. While he continued making successful films, the controversy left a mark on his reputation and raised ethical concerns that have impacted his legacy. Number 19. John Wayne was born Marion Robert Morrison on May 26, 1907 in Winterset, Iowa. He became famous for starring in classic Western films like Stagecoach, Red River, The Searchers and True Grit, for which he won an Academy Award for Best Actor. In his personal life, Wayne faced backlash when a 1971 interview resurfaced where he made controversial statements expressing support for white supremacy and discrimination against Native Americans and African Americans. Many civil rights activists criticized these racist remarks. Though Wayne tried to defend and downplay his comments later on, the damage was done and he was viewed as an outspoken bigot by many. The scandal tainted his legacy as an icon and movie star. Despite the controversies surrounding his personal beliefs and actions, Wayne remained a beloved figure to many fans who admired his on-screen charisma and rugged persona. Number 18. Joan Crawford was born Lucille Fay Lesseur on March 23, 1904 in San Antonio, Texas. She became a major Hollywood star in the 1930s and 1940s with films like Grand Hotel, Mildred Pierce and Humoresque. In her personal life, Crawford faced backlash over allegations of abuse made by her adopted daughter Christina in the tell-all memoir, Mommy Dearest. Christina accused Crawford of being a cruel, abusive mother who used harsh punishments and excessive discipline. She said Crawford beat her with wire hangers and scrubbed her with soap and steel wool as punishment. The memoir portrayed Crawford as a volatile, controlling narcissist. Though Crawford denied the claims, the damage was done and it became a famous Hollywood scandal that ruined Crawford's reputation. She was seen as a cautionary tale of an abusive stage mother and many believe it wrecked her legacy. The memoir was adapted into a 1981 film starring Faye Dunaway as Joan Crawford. Despite her enduring legacy as a Hollywood icon, Crawford's scandals and controversies continue to spark debate among fans and critics alike. While some admire her talent and resilience, others condemn her actions, highlighting the complexities of her persona and the darker side of stardom. Number 17. Betty Davis was born Ruth Elizabeth Davis on April 5, 1908 in Lowell, Massachusetts. She became one of the greatest actresses in Hollywood history with films like Jezebel, Dark Victory, All About Eve and Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. In her personal life, Davis faced a backlash when she had a highly publicized feud with co-star Joan Crawford while filming Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. In 1962, 
The two actresses reportedly despised each other with extreme rivalry and animosity. The feud embarrassed both actresses and damaged Davis's reputation as it showcased her difficult and combative nature. Davis was labeled as spiteful and mean. The Davis-Crawford feud remains one of the most notorious conflicts between actors in Hollywood history. Moreover, Davis's tumultuous marriages and romantic relationships often made headlines. Her stormy marriage to fellow actor William Grant Sherry and her subsequent divorces drew public attention and scrutiny. Despite the controversies surrounding her personal life and career, Davis remains revered as one of the greatest actresses in Hollywood history. Her fearless approach to acting and unwavering dedication to her craft continue to inspire generations of performers. Number 16, Jerry Lewis, born Joseph Levitch on March 16, 1926, in Newark, New Jersey, was a comedic genius who left an indelible mark on Hollywood with his unique style and iconic performances. Rising to fame as one half of the legendary comedy duo Martin and Lewis, alongside Dean Martin, Lewis showcased his comedic talents in a string of successful films like The Nutty Professor and The Bell Boy. Despite his immense popularity as a comedian and actor, Lewis faced controversies throughout his career. One notable scandal involved his strained relationship with his former comedy partner, Dean Martin, which led to a highly publicized and bitter breakup in 1956, marking the end of their successful partnership. Moreover, Lewis faced criticism for his brash and abrasive personality, both on and off screen. His reputation as a demanding and sometimes difficult performer preceded him causing friction with co-stars and directors. In addition to his professional controversies, Lewis also faced personal challenges, including health issues and turbulent relationships. His battles with addiction and his tumultuous marriages often made headlines, casting a shadow over his comedic legacy. Despite the controversies surrounding him, Lewis remained celebrated for his comedic genius and his contributions to the entertainment industry. His influence on comedy and his unforgettable performances continue to inspire generations of comedians and actors. Number 15, James Dean, born on February 8, 1931, in Marion, Indiana captured the hearts of audiences with his raw talent and captivating performances, despite his tragically short-lived career. Rising to fame in the 1950s, Dean became a cultural icon through his roles in classic films such as Rebel Without a Cause, East of Eden, and Giant. In his work, he is known for his tumultuous relationships and resistant attitude towards Hollywood's rules, often leading to conflicts with filmmakers. In his personal life, Dean faced controversy over his reckless behavior, including speeding, street racing and stunt driving. In September 1955, Dean died at age 24 in a high-speed car crash while driving his new Porsche 550 Spider sports car to an auto rally. The violent circumstances of his early death shocked his fans and left many to wonder if he had a death wish. Despite his short career, Dean's influence on popular culture remains profound. His iconic image, rebellious spirit, and emotionally charged performances continue to resonate with audiences worldwide, inspiring countless actors and filmmakers. Number 14. Steve McQueen was born Terence Stephen McQueen on March 24, 1930 in Beach Grove, Indiana. He rose to fame as a Hollywood leading man and anti-hero in films like The Magnificent Seven, the Great Escape, Bullet, and The Towering Inferno. In his personal life, McQueen faced controversy over his temperamental behavior and drug and alcohol abuse. He was arrested for drunk driving in Anchorage in 1972. His drug use included marijuana, mescaline, and cocaine. Friends attempted interventions but McQueen refused help. His drug abuse contributed to the failure of his marriages and relationships. Though his bad boy persona attracted fans early on, towards the end of his career the scandals began to taint his reputation. McQueen's risky stunt work, 
dangerous driving and substance abuse reinforced his daredevil image, but also revealed self-destructive tendencies. His early death from cancer in 1980 at age 50 cut short his career at its peak. Despite his flaws and controversies, McQueen remains revered for his iconic performances and enduring legacy in Hollywood. Number 13. Kirk Douglas was born Isser Danielovich on December 9, 1916 in Amsterdam, New York. He became a leading man in Hollywood and starred in classic films like Champion, Ace in the Hole and Spartacus. Kirk Douglas faced controversy when he was accused of sexually assaulting actress Natalie Wood in the summer of 1955. According to Wood's sister Lana Wood, Natalie was brought to the Chateau Marmont Hotel by Douglas where he sexually assaulted her in his room for several hours despite her pleas for him to stop. The traumatic assault allegedly took place when Natalie was aged 16 to 17 and Douglas was approximately 39 years old. Wood claims Natalie confided in her about the details years later when both sisters were adults. The allegations only came to widespread public attention with the publication of Lana Wood's memoir in 2021. Many condemned Douglas's alleged predatory behavior and the traumatic impact it had on the teenage Natalie Wood. The accusations deeply tarnished Douglas's reputation, revealing him to be an alleged sexual abuser who preyed on a vulnerable underage girl at the height of his fame. The scandal overturned his Hollywood hero image and outed him as a purported sexual predator who abused his power. Number 12. Mickey Rooney was born Joe Yule Jr. on September 23, 1920 in Brooklyn, New York. He started as a child actor in popular films like the Andy Hardy series and became one of the biggest stars of classic Hollywood. In his personal life, Rooney faced controversy over his eight marriages and allegations of domestic abuse made by some of his wives including Barbara Ann Thomason and Carolyn Hockett. They accused him of mental and physical abuse fueled by alcohol and drug use. Rooney often cheated and left his wives in financial ruin through mismanagement. The scandals painted Rooney as a serial womanizer with a Jekyll and Hyde personality who could be charming in public but abusive in private. Though the allegations were kept quiet for years, they surfaced after his death in 2014 and tarnished his legacy. However, Mickey Rooney remained a beloved and influential figure in the entertainment industry, earning multiple awards and accolades for his contributions to film and theater. Number 11, Faye Dunaway, born Dorothy Faye Dunaway on January 14, 1941, in Bascom, Florida, is a renowned actress whose career has spanned over six decades. Dunaway rose to prominence in the 1960s and 1970s with roles in iconic films such as Bonnie and Clyde, Chinatown, and Network. Her portrayal of strong, complex female characters garnered widespread praise and established her as one of Hollywood's leading actresses, however, Dunaway's career was not without controversy. In 1977, she starred in the film, Mommy Dearest, portraying Hollywood actress Joan Crawford. While the film received mixed reviews, it exposed Dunaway to allegations of unprofessional behavior on set, with reports of clashes with the director and co-stars. Moreover, Dunaway's reputation for being difficult to work with persisted throughout her career, leading to strained relationships with directors and fellow actors. She faced criticism for her demanding demeanor and perfectionist attitude, which sometimes resulted in conflicts on film sets. While her career has had its ups and downs, Faye Dunaway's contributions to cinema have left an indelible mark, solidifying her status as one of the greatest actresses of her generation. Number 10. 
Elizabeth Taylor was born Elizabeth Roseman Taylor on February 27, 1932 in London, England. She became one of classic Hollywood's biggest stars with films like National Velvet, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. In her personal life, Taylor caused a major scandal when she began an affair with actor Eddie Fisher in 1959 while both were married to other people. Fisher was married to Taylor's friend, actress Debbie Reynolds, and Taylor was married to film producer Mike Todd at the time. When Todd died in a plane crash in 1958, Fisher comforted the grieving Taylor and their friendship evolved into a torrid affair. The scandal broke in 1959 when Fisher left his family for Taylor, divorcing Reynolds and marrying Taylor in 1959. The affair was seen as a shocking betrayal that pitted two Hollywood friends against each other and broke up Fisher's marriage. Taylor was demonized as a homewrecker and brazen husband stealer, causing a career setback. Their marriage ended in 1964, with Taylor moving on and marrying for the fourth time to actor Richard Burton. The scandal surrounding Elizabeth Taylor and Eddie Fisher's relationship remains one of the most famous events in Hollywood history, highlighting the strong public fascination with celebrity relationships and the consequences of betraying trust and loyalty in the public eye. Number 9. Frank Sinatra, whose full name was Francis Albert Sinatra, was born on December 12, 1915, in Hoboken, New Jersey. He rose to prominence as one of the most iconic singers of the 20th century, earning the nickname, Old Blue Eyes, for his mesmerizing vocal talent and captivating performances. Sinatra's career spanned over six decades and left an indelible mark on the world of music and entertainment. In addition to his musical achievements, Sinatra's personal life was often tumultuous, marked by numerous scandals and high-profile marriages. Frank Sinatra is famous for his tumultuous love life and scandals. He was married four times, to Nancy Barbato, Ava Gardner, Mia Farrow, and Barbara Marks. Sinatra's first marriage to Barbato ended after he developed feelings for Gardner. A major scandal erupted when Sinatra left his wife and three children to pursue Gardner. They married in 1951 but divorced after two tumultuous years. Sinatra then married Pharaoh in 1966 when he was 50 and she was 21. The marriage was criticized for the significant age gap. They divorced in 1968 after Pharaoh discovered Sinatra's ongoing relationship with his ex-wife, Gardner. In 1976, Sinatra married Marx, marking his final marriage. Additionally, Sinatra had numerous affairs with Hollywood starlets such as Marilyn Monroe, Lauren Bacall, Judy Garland, and Angie Dickinson. Throughout his life, Sinatra's romantic entanglements and tumultuous marriages were fodder for tabloids and gossip columns, often overshadowing his musical achievements. Despite the controversies surrounding his personal life, Sinatra's talent and charisma ensured his enduring legacy as one of the greatest entertainers of all time. Do you find this story appealing? If yes, please leave a comment with the number 1, if not, please comment with the number 0 to provide feedback for us. Number 8. Greta Garbo, born Greta Lovisa Gustafsson on September 18, 1905 in Stockholm, Sweden, was one of the most famous actresses of the 1930s. She became an international star after playing the lead role in the 1926 silent film Flesh and the Devil. Garbo is best known for her portrayals of mysterious, melancholic, and glamorous women in films like Anna Karenina, Camille, and Ninichka. However, Garbo was embroiled in scandal when she had a string of love affairs with famous men like John Gilbert and Orson Welles while still under contract with MGM Studios. The affairs went against the morals clauses in her contracts. When details emerged about her private dalliances, Garbo was threatened with lawsuit by MGM and feared backlash from fans. Though she never married, Garbo's tumultuous love life and aloof public persona only added to her enigmatic on-screen image as the divine and she remained popular with audiences.
Number 7. Orson Welles was born George Orson Welles on May 6, 1915 in Kenosha, Wisconsin. He rose to fame in the late 1930s for his groundbreaking radio production of War of the Worlds and his cinematic masterpiece Citizen Kane. Throughout his career, Welles continued to push the boundaries of filmmaking, experimenting with unconventional narrative styles and storytelling methods. His other notable directorial works include The Magnificent Ambersons, Touch of Evil, and Chimes at Midnight, all of which showcase his unique artistic vision and technical prowess. Despite his immense talent and artistic achievements, Wells faced numerous setbacks and controversies throughout his career. He struggled with studio interference, financial difficulties, and clashes with producers, which often hindered the release and distribution of his films. Wells later became embroiled in scandal for his increasing alcoholism and turbulent romantic relationships. He married three times, including relationships with actresses Virginia Nicholson and Rita Hayworth. Wells also reportedly had affairs with stars such as Marlene Dietrich, Dolores Del Rio, and Judy Garland. Details of Wells' hedonistic lifestyle and affairs offended the moral expectations of the time period. Gossip columnists wrote extensively about his alcohol-fueled escapades and womanizing ways. Though the scandals generated publicity for Wells, the controversies hindered his career. Studios became wary of working with him and he struggled to secure financing for films later in life due to his reputation as an unreliable, temperamental genius. Number 6. Lucille Ball was born Lucille Desiree Ball on August 6, 1911 in Jamestown, New York. She became an iconic comedic actress starring in the sitcom I Love Lucy alongside her husband Daisy Arnaz. In her personal life, Ball faced a backlash in 1953 when she registered to vote and it was revealed she had been a registered member of the Communist Party in 1936. Ball admitted attending communist meetings with her grandfather but claimed she only registered to appease him and did not actually embrace the ideology. Nonetheless, the revelation that such a famous actress had communist ties caused a major scandal at the height of McCarthyism. Ball had to defend herself at a hearing before the House Un-American Activities Committee. Though she was cleared of wrongdoing, the scandal hung over her career for years. Despite the controversy, Ball remained beloved by the public and went on to become one of the most influential comedians in history. Number 5. Spencer Tracy was born on April 5, 1900 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He rose to prominence in 1930s Hollywood with films like Captain's Courageous and Boy's Town, for which he won Academy Awards for Best Actor. Despite his professional success, Trass's personal life was marked by tumultuous relationships and scandals. He was known for his tempestuous affair with actress Katherine Hepburn, with whom he starred in nine films. Their relationship, though passionate and enduring, was marred by Trass's struggles with alcoholism and infidelity. Trass's alcoholism, in particular, had a profound impact on his life and career. He was notorious for his heavy drinking and erratic behavior, which often led to conflicts on set and strained relationships with colleagues. Despite his personal demons, Tracy remained dedicated to his craft and continued to deliver captivating performances until his death. He passed away on June 10, 1967, leaving behind a legacy as one of Hollywood's greatest actors. Number 4. Errol Flynn, born Errol Leslie Thompson Flynn on June 20, 1909, in Hobart, Tasmania, was a charismatic and dashing actor who became an iconic figure in Hollywood during the golden age of cinema. Flynn's breakout role came in 1935 when he starred as the legendary pirate Captain Blood in the film of the same name. His portrayal of the daring and romantic hero catapulted him to stardom and solidified his status as a leading man in Hollywood throughout the 1930s and 1940s, 
Flynn starred in a string of successful adventure films, including The Adventures of Robin Hood, The Seahawk, and Captain Blood, where he showcased his athleticism and sword-fighting skills. His on-screen persona as a charming rogue and fearless adventurer endeared him to audiences worldwide. However, behind the glamorous facade, Flynn's personal life was often tumultuous and marred by controversy. He was notorious for his wild partying lifestyle, numerous affairs, and legal troubles, including accusations of statutory rape. One of the most infamous scandals involving Flynn occurred in 1942 when he was accused of statutory rape by two underage girls. Despite a highly publicized trial, Flynn was acquitted of all charges, although the scandal tarnished his reputation and led to a decline in his career. Despite the controversies and personal struggles, Flynn continued to act in films throughout the 1950s, although his later years were overshadowed by health issues and substance abuse. He passed away on October 14, 1959, at the age of 50, leaving behind a legacy as one of Hollywood's most iconic and enigmatic stars. Number 3, Marlon Brando, born on April 3, 1924, in Omaha, Nebraska, was an iconic actor whose groundbreaking performances revolutionized the art of film acting. Known for his raw intensity, method acting technique, and willingness to challenge societal norms, Brando left an indelible mark on cinema. Throughout the 1950s, Brando continued to deliver powerful performances in films such as On the Waterfront and The Wild One solidifying his reputation as one of Hollywood's most talented and influential actors. His iconic delivery of lines like, I could have been a contender, in On the Waterfront, became legendary, cementing his status as a cultural icon. Despite his immense talent and success on screen, Brando's personal life was marked by turmoil and controversy. He was known for his tumultuous relationships, including multiple marriages and numerous affairs. Additionally, Brando struggled with addiction and battled with his weight throughout his life. One of the most infamous scandals involving Brando occurred in 1990 when his son, Christian Brando, was charged with manslaughter for killing his half-sister's boyfriend. The incident brought unwanted attention to Brando's family and tarnished his reputation in the media. Despite the challenges and controversies he faced, Brando's impact on the world of cinema cannot be overstated. His bold approach to acting paved the way for future generations of actors, and his influence can be seen in the work of countless performers who followed in his footsteps. Marlon Brando will always be remembered as a true trailblazer and one of the greatest actors of all time. Number 2. W.C. Fields was born William Claude Dukenfield on January 29, 1880 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He became a popular comedian and actor in vaudeville and silent films, later transitioning successfully to talkies in the 1930s. Throughout the 1930s and 1940s, Fields starred in a string of successful films, including It's a Gift, My Little Chickadee, and The Bank Dick, solidifying his reputation as a comedic powerhouse. His comedic style, characterized by his distinctive voice and trademark cigar, became iconic and widely imitated. Despite his professional success, Fields' personal life was marked by struggles with alcoholism and health issues. His heavy drinking often affected his performances and led to conflicts with colleagues on set. One of the most infamous incidents involving Fields occurred in 1936 when he was involved in a highly publicized divorce trial with his third wife, Harriet Hattie Hughes. The trial revealed details of Fields' tumultuous marriage and personal life, tarnishing his public image to some extent. Nevertheless, Fields' legacy as one of the greatest comedians of all time remains intact. His contributions to the world of comedy continue to be celebrated, and his influence can be seen in the work of countless comedians who followed in his footsteps.
Number 1. Humphrey Bogart was born on December 25, 1899 in New York City. He rose to fame in classic 1940s films like Casablanca, The Maltese Falcon, and The Big Sleep. However, Bogart became embroiled in scandal due to his tumultuous personal life. He married four times, including troubled marriages to actresses Mayo Method and Lauren Bacall. His relationship with Bacall began while he was still married to Method, leading to an ugly divorce. The 25-year age gap between Bogart and Bacall also caused controversy. Bogart was also a heavy drinker and smoker, habits which concerned the public. In the era of the Hayes Code, details about his unglamorous vices offended moral sensibilities. However, Bogart's ragged off-screen persona seemed to enhance his on-screen tough guy image. Fans were drawn to his portrayal of flawed, reckless antiheroes. Though regarded as a legendary screen actor, Bogart's string of failed marriages, affairs, and destructive habits led to his reputation as an aging bad boy of classic Hollywood. Thank you for joining us on this exciting journey through these captivating stories. If this episode has intrigued you, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with fellow enthusiasts, and subscribe to the Hollywood Inside 1960s channel for more exciting content updates. See you soon on Hollywood Inside 1960s.